the natural world has already overcome a lot of disasters associated with runaway greenhouse gas effects. And if we look at how natural systems were able to clean the air after those events and recreate ecosystems, I think that we can look to a boss that already has billions of years of experience in teaching us how we can solve those problems and maintain the earth in a healthy way. My name is Alex Tavasoli, and today we're at the Lash Miller Chemical Laboratories to take a look at Solistra's solar activated nanomaterial technology that can convert greenhouse gases into low carbon chemicals and fuels. Solistra's technology works a lot the way photosynthesis does and is sometimes referred to as artificial photosynthesis. So the same way plants absorb sunlight and CO2 from the air and convert that into carbohydrates for food for themselves, we are able to do the same thing with CO2 and sunlight, but produce low carbon fuels and chemicals. Solistra can help the oil and gas industry transition from its operations today all the way to a carbon negative and sustainable future. You can attach it to a smokestack and recycle the carbon dioxide from the smokestack that way, or you can attach it to an orphan well, for example, and save the carbon dioxide and methane emissions from going into the atmosphere. We can enable chemical processes to be run both using waste greenhouse gases and natural sunlight, which eliminates both of the main parts of chemical production that cause it to be so polluting and damaging to the environment. The Women in Clean Tech Challenge allowed us to scale our technology over a thousand times from the lab scale unit that I built during my PhD to a pilot unit that was taller than me that we built in in cooperation with Natural Resources Canada and the Canadian Gas Association. And that was a really major step in proving that the technology could work at scale and getting us our first piloting partners and customers in industry. I would tell female entrepreneurs that they need to be stronger and firmer than they probably think that they should have to be in order to accomplish their goals. Starting in clean tech, which is already inherently trying to change systems, it takes a lot of strength and courage to challenge those systems and try to move the opinions of people in power who who can sometimes be stuck in old ways, in addition to it already being a hard task, coming at that while also being a woman calls for extra double strength.